I feel like I haven't done this before. Um, right, let's, so, hi. It, it's been a while. Sorry about that. Things happened. Um, yeah, so I haven't posted a video for a while. Right, okay, just start the video. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you, this is my, if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, then, I mean, you, you might want to find a different one because this one is going to be more of an explanation video because um, if you've seen any of my videos before this is not where I usually film this is a completely different background so um, I've moved um, and that's part of the reason why I left so I haven't posted a video for a while and I'm really sorry about that I was going to post a video on like a short uh, video of me explaining why I wouldn't be posting videos for a while and that just never really happened because of the reasons that I will tell you in a minute. Um, I did post something on Instagram though, so anyone who follows me on Instagram, you will know the vague reasons behind why I haven't posted anything for a while. But essentially, um, a lot happened. I believe my last video was probably in July at some point. Um, and for reference, I'm filming this on like the 8th or 9th, something like that, of September. Uh, so not, hopefully not too far away from the date that I post it, but who knows, because I haven't filmed a video in a while, I haven't done any of this for a few months, so I might be a bit out of practice, which is why this video might be more awkward, because I keep taking breaks, I need, I keep taking breaks, and it's really frustrating, because I just want to keep doing one a week and, like, actually be able to do a constant schedule, but apparently that's not happening, that's not happened this year at all, uh, but that's fine, um, I'll work on it, really. Um, I'm not seeing any issues in the near future as to why I wouldn't be able to film. I'm now going to get back to filming. I have so many ideas and I'm very excited to film, but let me first explain why I left in the first place. So, July. Um, there was a few reasons. I think my mental health got a bit... Um, my mental health has always been very fragile. I recently described it as it's like a game of Jenga right at the very end when, you know, one piece could just slam the whole thing. And it's made out of glass. The blocks are made out of glass. That is how I would describe my mental health for the last few months. Um, ironically, better than it's been in a while. But still, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's alright. It's, I'm emotionally fragile. I am, honestly. Um, so, uh, we've moved. That's what happened. Um, we moved only like, it was last week, it was last week, um, it was a very busy week and I spent a lot of time like packing and sorting everything out and that just took up a lot of my time really. Um, so that was one of the things because we've been planning to move for a while and obviously we had a whole house to pack and move over a couple of days and then we've still got a bunch of boxes everywhere. Uh, so that's definitely taken up a lot of my time. Another reason is that there was a lot of stress for like family related stuff. So I've mentioned some of it on my Instagram and basically my family is a bit of a mess. I've probably mentioned like the relationships between me and my family recently. I have an amazing mum. She was in one of my videos. If you want to go and find that, it was the Undivided video I did. She's absolutely amazing. She is so supportive and wonderful and basically my best friend and my favourite person ever. Um, my sister is, we're, I would say we're fairly close. We get on really well. Um, she's really lovely. She's... Uh, we do have like some issues that have complicated the relationship which I'm not getting into because that would be weird. This is a public space. I'm not gonna just talk about my issues. But we, we're quite close and it is um it my dad I don't speak to and I haven't in a couple of years and that's kind of part of it is that there was some family stuff going on because I yeah, I'll share this. I decided I wanted to work on communication within the family because we're awful at it and I felt like it would be important and I was in a place at this point in my life that I would be able to help with that because it's been pointed out to me that I have the most emotional intelligence in the family as I've had so much mental health support and none of the rest of them have really. 
um but yeah i i was i think i'm the one who was gonna have to sort it out and take charge of it all and i decided to and it all it didn't go badly but it it kind of went as well as I, as I expected and that was a bit earlier in the year actually that was well no it was probably July and then other stuff happened and it just it was it it was emotionally draining it took a lot out of me is it was oh, it was so bad I really didn't enjoy that it was a you know, I have many thoughts on it which I will share with my therapist and none of you but uh, yeah, that took up a lot of time and there's still a lot of family stuff that I want to deal with once I'm settled in the new house, which I mean, I mm, I am, but mm, there's still a lot to sort out, you know, it's just a lot is happening and basically at some point in July, probably like a couple of weeks in, I decided that it would be best for me to only focus on the move because that was the thing that needed to be done, like it was happening, it was scheduled, it was planned out, I knew it was happening and I just couldn't, it, it needed all my time and focus really. And moving is always really difficult for me. I hate the change and it's already, you know, it's sensory issues and it's a completely different environment and it's a whole lot of new stuff to adjust to and it's packing all of my stuff and then unpacking it all. And it's always just been really hard on me. And now since my diagnosis, I'm more aware of how sensory issues really come into play there. Uh, because before I didn't really think about it too much. I just knew I hated it. I'm not good with change and I wanted to focus on that because I knew it would take a lot out of me. So I just did, um, decided the family stuff and YouTube and everything, everything else that I was doing. I just was like, I'm going to stop. I'm going to take a break from it all and I'm just going to focus on the move um, because I just think I needed to do that. So I did and I did kind of end up off social media a bit as well like I didn't post too much there because I just wanted to focus on doing stuff and spending time with the people in my life because you know my sister was visiting for a bit and I wanted to spend time with my mum and I just wanted to just you know focus on stuff in my life that was it was the least stressful and ironically I had a great time with the move because I had nothing else stressful going on and I felt it was a lot easier I don't think I would have been able to I don't think I would have found it as easy if I'd had everything else going on at the same time definitely so that was uh that was really helpful it, it definitely was good i don't regret that decision but now we have moved and i've kind of settled in in that there's there's less boxes in my room um so i'm now getting back into everything else which is really weird because i'm thinking about doing things that i didn't really think about before um I don't know I'm just kind of exploring the options because we've moved to a new area as well and I'm just looking at like what I want to do what I want to spend my time doing because I want to get I want to be more busy I want to get out and do things um yeah so I'm really excited to do that and I'm also excited to get back to filming because I've really missed it honestly I I've really enjoyed I really enjoy filming videos and I enjoy um like editing and posting and just exploring that side of creativity I I don't know it's just a lot of fun for me and I have some really cool ideas that I'm very excited about um I had ideas before then I've got like a whole long list I've got like three notebooks um and I know my phone I've got so much ideas I'm very excited um so obviously I am gonna okay schedule wise I'm gonna st I started a schedule that I was going to post on Fridays at 5pm so each week I'm going to schedule it to post on that time um I'm going to keep with that as much as I can honestly because the way I've done it is a schedule it just works for me throughout the week and that's good what you can expect from me is maybe different like a better edited videos I don't do like jump cuts edits because I don't have the skill for that and because I like the way my videos are even though it kind of there's a lot of pauses and there's a lot of me like if you the way that I write is a lot more eloquent and a lot more put together and whereas when I speak it's more unfinished sentences and pauses and saying like way too many times in a sentence but it it it's just the way I speak and I feel like it's more I don't want to say honest but personal you know like I'm sat on my bed talking to my phone camera 
and it just I like the idea that people can watch it and feel like they're just talking to me this is what I talk like and I don't know I do think that I, I've noticed that I make more eye contact in a video so if you wanted to talk to me in real life I can guarantee you I would make a lot more sarcastic jokes and I probably wouldn't make anywhere near as much eye contact as I do in videos but I like the idea that it feels more personal you know like you're just having a chat with someone like with me and I like that vibe you know it feels fun um yeah so I'm not gonna change like the stuff I edit but I have I'm not gonna change like jump cuts but I am gonna try and add like fancier things so I want to start doing reacting videos because I have figured out that editing style no style um I figured out how to add like a, a video in embed a video in so i i do like the idea of doing a reacting to series or like reacting to various things i want to start doing like that i think i want to start talking about like popular autism topics like that the actual autistic community talk about a lot because i did a video on oh, what was it? i did a video on i can't remember what it was but i nickelodeon that was it and that was kind of like a popular topic at the time and i like I've got ideas for different videos, so I like the idea of uh, doing a video like reacting to um, very like autism representation in media um, because I think that is interesting and as much as I'm not sure if people want to hear my opinion but I want to film it so I'm probably going to do something like that um, but if you have any suggestions not just autism related stuff obviously if you want me to do something related to um, like mental illness being mentally ill because I have depression and anxiety as well or um, being LGBT um, stuff like that then definitely like let me know in the comments or you can go and find my instagram i guess and send me a message on there that would be weirder and a lot more complicated but you can if you want um yeah speaking of instagram i do recommend that you follow me if you are interested in my videos and you want to keep updated on what i'm doing because as i said at the beginning of the video i didn't post anything on here about my break because i never got around to it because executive function is not one of my strong skills it's awful and i hate it and it is why i don't get a lot done so, but i did post something on instagram i did mention it and i'm fairly active on there i mean i don't know i take random breaks out of nowhere but i do post um updates on instagram so like if i wouldn't be able to post a video rather short notice i would i would post it on there rather than here so if you do want to keep updated on stuff like that then um i will put the link in the description for you to find so yeah if i highly doubt that if you're watching this video that you aren't subscribed because why would you watch this video of me explaining why i disappeared for two months if you don't already watch my videos but if you aren't then feel free to subscribe you can watch me create new content that is hopefully more recent um yeah um that's that's it i hope you enjoyed i don't want to say enjoyed because it's just a video of me rambling and i'm sure no one has missed that but um i will see you next week for a video that i can't even remember what i'm doing but i am sure you will enjoy anyway bye